Yes, the question is what does marketing and sales have to do exactly with a printer and a cartridge, as you can see on this uh, picture here. Um, we all know that when we buy a printer, the printer seems pretty cheap actually, and then after some time when we have to buy a new printer cartridge, we realize that it's quite a lot of money that we have to spend into it. In our lecture we will learn why this is the case and how companies set their prices, how they make advantage of these kind of locking effects and uh, we will learn how they use it. The second picture you see on the uh, here is a Volkswagen, a Volkswagen Bulli, uh, which was quite famous in times of uh, the hippies and uh, as a beach car and but at the same time Volkswagen manufactured exactly the same car also for craftsmen. For a carpenter you could buy this uh, same car for any kind of commercial use. So in our lecture we will learn something about the difference of B2C, which is business to customer markets, and B2B, which is business to business markets. And we will learn how they differ and if there are similarities. And then I brought you something else, which is actually a product which I bought in Japan. I did not want to make any advertising for it, but you can see it's quite different to the usual product that we know, which is, has a uh, red packaging, and usually it's a brown chocolate and it's got a wafer inside. And if we look into this product, it looks pretty different. And actually, what it is, it contains a flavor of matcha. Maybe you have tried matcha tea, and this is a matcha flavored chocolate bar. And we will learn something about different tastes in different cultures, depending on where we are and how companies have to follow the different tastes and the different habits in different markets. That's another part of our lecture that we will learn. After an introduction in marketing and sales, we will learn instruments on how to analyze the market. One very important part in our lecture will be focusing on market research. So how to analyze a market, how to analyze our competitors, how to analyze our customers and their needs. We will learn something about market segmentation. That means how to divide bigger markets into smaller markets. And we will learn how to target at the right markets so that, uh, that we know what our customers are and what are the right products for the right markets. Then we learn something about marketing strategies. So what are we in the market? Are we a market leader? Are we a market follower, etc.? And we will learn how to develop the right strategies for the right markets. After that, we will learn something about the classical four Ps, which is product, price, place and promotion. And there we will learn something about the toolbox that we can use in marketing. I already introduced a few things a moment ago when you saw the photos. We will learn something about the P, which is price, and we will learn, we learn something about the P, which is product. After that, we will have a deep dive into sales. We will learn something on how companies can be successful in sales, how they organize their sales, and even a little bit about how to communicate in a sales uh, talk with our customer. Then, as, as I already mentioned uh, too, we will learn something about marketing culture. Remember the green chocolate bar and we will learn more about different aspects of culture in this lecture. And then we will finalize it, we will finalize our uh, lecture at the end with marketing and sales metrics. Sometimes people might assume marketing is just about nice products and maybe advertising, but actually marketing has to fulfill purposes and has to be measurable. And that's why at the end we will learn something about how to measure the success in marketing and sales. What do we need marketing and sales for? Actually, basically everything we do is driven by our customer. The customer pays our bills, the customer pays our fees, our wages, our salaries. So we really have to think about 
who is our customer and what is it the customer actually needs. Especially in some technology-driven companies in the past, we have seen that companies sell what they are able to sell and what they develop. But actually, it's more important to understand what the customer wants. Of course, in some cases, we have to kind of predict what the customer is going to like in a few years' time. But nevertheless, everyone in the company, it's something we will also learn in the lecture, everyone in the company is part of marketing because everything has to be developed around our customer and that's why marketing and sales is such a crucial topic. No matter what you study, uh, if you study engineering, if you study business administration, marketing and sales is the core topic. Welcome to marketing and sales.